all around here used to be the sugarcane estates. Now the reason why this was built over here is the guru, which is like a, a Hindu priest, a Hindu prophet sort of. You know, the Hindus believe in reincarnation, right? Yeah. And he believed that this was over here was holy land yeah. and Hanuman in his travels in the old days would have passed through over here oh. so if you have some sort of illness in your life or some you know you have some bad thing going on in your marriage or something yeah. and you want to get rid you know get rid of that evil in your life yeah. easy god of destruction that could um, destroy all those evil evils in your life Uh, so guys, we are here. My name is Primnath Kisun. Welcome to the Data Tree Yoga Center, yeah, Trinidad, West Indies. Yeah. yeah. Tell us more about the place and why the temple is here. So it was built here for the Hindu community mm -hmm. and also for other people from the whole world to come and visit. Yeah. So we welcome you. So guys, uh, we want to do much because they don't allow the video thing in there, but you will do photos, so don't leave, stick around. Joy is a name from Kenya. Yeah, I'm from Kenya. First time in China. Right? So you have, what, what you have? Alupai. Alupai. Sahina. Baigani. Baigani. And Kolori. And Kolori. That's it. Well, one of everything now. Okay. Yeah. I am the one who does fry. You do all the frying. Yes, you oh, yes. do the sales. All oh, right. So I'm going to the back there to do some frying so he yeah. could tape a little bit if he wants. All right. So this is what you call alupai. So you have to describe it for the people. Wait, I have to do okay. like two the, bites. Okay. It's called what? Alu, alu pan. Alu, alu alu pan. pan. Oh. Potato pan. Oh. Potato. Oh. It's good. I'll just say it's good. Mmm. Not waru pie. Stop it. <laughs> so, this is baigani. Mm -hmm. Baigan is Baigan. Indian word. Mm -hmm. Baigan is eggplant. Okay. So it's a slice of eggplant mm. and it is a flower dough. The peas. Okay. The peas make a dough mm. and they put a slice of eggplant in it and they deep fry it. Okay, let me try. I love it. Mm. Had the tamarind sauce, have a little spice in it. This one is more delicious than the other. Mm -hmm. mm. One more for you to try. I'm full. Okay, half of it then. Half. The kind of food street we are trying. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is polori. Mm -hmm. Made with um, split peas powder mm -hmm. and they make a dough and they deep fry it and it's a tamarind sauce. So you must have a sauce to dip with it because it will kind of dry otherwise. Oh, okay. So, so can I try? Polori. Actually, I'll say this one is. Um, I prefer the second one mm -hmm. and the third one. Just take a bite. Come <laughs> food. It's really good. Though. You want to make my stomach feel like a present? This one makes like just made with spinach and split peas. Mm -hmm. Spinach, your spinach? Yeah, I know. Like, like sahina. Mm -hmm. It's good. Which but one? I'm full. Which one is your favorite one? The second one. Second one would have been the eggplant. Yeah. Yeah, that was my favorite. Mm. Okay. And the third one, the round. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah.
so this is the final thing that we are doing here. We are at the temple in the sea. So Jesse here is going to tell us more about uh, the temple and why it's called uh, the temple in the sea. In the sea. Yes. Yeah. So. This temple was built by an indentured laborer that came from India mm -hmm. back in the old days, in the um, 18, 1800s. Yeah. He came here as a young kid. I was 14 years old, mm -hmm. had a very, very difficult trip in coming across over here. Mm -hmm. I'm coming to Trinidad and back in those old days, these ships that they would bring, bring them across mm -hmm. from India would take months and people would get, you know, sick and different things. But anyway, he came, he made a promise mm -hmm. to the gods mm -hmm. that once I arrive here safely, he'll build a place of worship. Yeah. So he decided, came and started to look for place. But remember we were saying back then all over here was sugar cane. This is yeah, 1800s yeah. and it was under the colonial days, right? Mm. So the Brits had owned it. Mm. He tried to build it on land and in trying to build it on land, they, they, they tried to stop him and tell him, no, you can't do it. Well, he, he still went ahead and built it. And what they did, they actually <coughs> jailed him, broke down the temple. Yeah. There's a story that the guy who was chained on the temple, right, actually fell and killed him. It was a place of, place of worship that he was, he was breaking down, right? Yeah. So he came out of jail after spending some time in jail and he said nobody wants to see. So on his bicycle, two buckets every evening, mm -hmm. stone and gravel and so on. And he, he, it took him 25 years to build a foundation to come out here, 25 years. So you build this place of worship. Mm -hmm. and, um, but today in 1985, the government rebuilt yeah. this of monument. Mm -hmm. And it's a story of the, you know, against all odds perseverance of the people, the fight for the people, the will of the people, right? Yeah. This is a, a, a symbol of that, right? And it's the only temple built out oh, in the sea. The sea. Yeah. Like this. Yeah. Right. Hope you and all enjoyed everything that we did today. The temple was the last thing that we had today. Let me know in the comment section what you think about uh, Trinidad. If you are from Trinidad, please let me know in the comment section where you think I should visit before I leave here. And thank you so much for joining me and thank you so much for watching. Kindly subscribe, like and share. Thank you so much. Bye!